It's true, isn't it? Huh? The further you get from a thing, the more enjoyable it was. <laughs> I love her more now than I ever did. <laughs> it, it, you know, it's, um, I have to say that, that I am extraordinarily proud of the people with whom I was associated with and work with every single day. I also have now a young man who is as much a son of mine as my blood children, and that's Sir Rob Lofton. And so those things, yeah. And so those things are indelibly connected in my life. I will say to that, to the credit of, of the writing and the conception, I think that that certainly was one of the most important things that made it work for seven years. The writing was extraordinary. And uh, as Ira Bear and Ed Howell and Ron Gore and all those folks. Um, and in the combination of people who, who knew that we came to play in the purest sense of it. That we came to play. I mean, it's like it, and somebody says, you want to learn. Um, I'd like to go to Yankee Stadium and uh, take batting practice. Well, once you get out there, you understand that it's not quite as simple as it seems. <laughs> but the fact of the matter, assembled were these people who came to play, who came to hit. That made the extraordinary difference, and I'm happy to be a part of it. Seven years and three minutes. That's pretty darn good. Yeah. <laughs> Let me ask you this, man. You, you're OG Star Trek. Well, way back in the day, gangster style. Um, when, when you, when you, how come I hear these terms for the first time in front of all these people? <laughs> When you uh, meet up with the other captains, like uh, Avery mentioned, uh, the great Ron Moore is one of the writers on uh, on his show that he'd also went on to do Battlestar Star Galactica. When you meet with uh, yes, when you meet with other captains, are you like, uh, that's nice, but my scripts were written by Ron Murray. <laughs> no, you know, I I, I met uh, essentially for the first time all these guys. Uh, some. Uh, most I knew vaguely. Hi, how are you? Um, from some event that we may have passed through and shook hands and pretended to be warm because that's what we do. <laughs> <laughs> but engaging them in conversation and exploring their psyche uh, as I do in the film, I came to know all of them. Uh, and although the time was, can't be measured in uh, weeks and years. The hours we spent together were meaningful. And I discovered traits among the six of us that I uh, had no idea about. I discovered things about myself in examining them and preparing to talk to them. I examined myself and that's what my voyage was uh, on this film. So it is about the captains, and it is about uh, getting to know them, and it is about something that I arrive at, an epiphany I arrive at in the film. I never said, you know, you wouldn't have that job if I hadn't kicked ass back in, you know. <laughs> but, but I feel kind of bad about that because he, he's the reason, you know, and he's the heart and soul of this. When I first got the job, they said, you know, we've got this, magazine, the Star Trek uh, magazine that goes out, I, and we want you to do, you know, interviews and pictures for that. I said, okay, that, that's, that's a nice little magazine. They said it was 25 million circulation <laughs> around the planet, and, and it just hit me, you know, because I knew what it was, because I've done a little star, I've done a little uh, sci-fi in my life. But, so so I, I, I understand us. But uh, I was overwhelmed by uh, the worldwide impact of, of what he started. Thank you. The, uh, yeah. the, uh, well, the thing about, uh, about science fiction that was struck me last night was that this uh, epic has developed a wonderful poster 
uh, I've never really seen as extensive and as expensive a, a poster. Uh, I, I forgot the term. Is, it, is that a four sheet or a three sheet or what do they call that thing? And a sheet, one sheet. <laughs> like an ant guy. <laughs> Epics is cheaper than I thought. It's a one sheet. It's a three sheet. Um, but they've developed this wonderful poster with all our images on. Have you seen it? And the overlay is stars, okay? And the picture of the stars is from the Hubble telescope, which is an actual picture of something way out there, something that we don't know what it is at all. Not only do we not know what those stars are and what the stars beyond them are. We don't know what it is between us and them. And we know that's 90% of what exists in the universe. And there may be other universe. So how little we know. And, and what an attempt by our imagination in science fiction to, to think about what might be there. And anything you write in science fiction can be right. Because we know nothing. <laughs> I'm sorry, that still wasn't nearly as profound as that. <laughs>